It's bigger than ExxonMobil. It's bigger than Berkshire Hathaway. Apple hits $900 billion, the king of the stock market for market cap. But here's a trillion-dollar question. That should, should you take a bite out of this Silicon Valley gem, or is it time to hang up on the stock, at least for now? We bring it in Point View Wealth Management Chief Investment Strategist David Dietz, who owned it in the past and loved it in the past, but now says? Absolutely. Gee, I mean, there's a couple of reasons why you want to steer clear of Apple right now. First of all, there's a lot of hype on this new iPhone 10, but a lot of the reviews I'm reading suggesting, depending on your use, you know, same processor, same wireless charging, not that much better. Plus, of course, there's still concerns that even if it becomes a big hit, can they supply the people? So in the short term, there's questions. And, you know, look at the handset business. It's littered with failures over time. Remember your Blackberries, your Nokias, Aww. your your uh, your Samsungs I'm and so forth. I'm getting nostalgic, David. Uh, Motorola. For, so, you know, <laughs> you're only as good as your last model. It's a short product cycle. So you've got a lot riding. And of course, it's a narrow company. Two thirds of all the revenues are coming from the iPhone. 85% iPhone, iPad, and I, iMac. What'd you buy it at and what'd you sell it at? So, you know, we were buying it in the 90s and 100. At and, what? Oh, at 100, yeah. Yeah, exactly. And now with the stock up 75%, I cannot tell my clients that you should right. continue to add to it. You know, traditionally it was 12 or 13 times earnings, over a 2% dividend. Now you're at one and a quarter, uh, 16 times. Hey, I'm a value guy. My client's money is important. Good to see you, David. Thank you so much. Uh, that's David Dietz with the Buy Later. Theory.